Hear you in hope. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Most of you are aware that Coach Jenkins uh, uh, has been courted. The leadership of our football program is in safe hands. And I'm truly proud to continue to be the head coach at Bethune-Cookman. That's all that matters to me right now. Hey, everybody out there in Wildcat Nation. That was the footage of Coach Brian Jenkins deciding that he was going to stay and remain a Wildcat. I hope you're as excited as we are. I'm Terrence Gatling, and this is the 2013 edition of the BCU Insider. But before we take a look at this season, we're going to take a step back in our time machine and show you some footage from 2012. Game plan. Real simple. Real simple. As always, we're going straight to them. We're not looking around them. Remember, keep your eye on that one. That's it. Keep your eye on that one. No matter if it's that small, focus on that one. That's what your focus go on. On that one, and that's it. You guys understand me, all right? You guys, all right, have paved the trail. You've paved the trail. You've been through the fire. You've been through the scorn. You the team that swam the seven seas and didn't get wet. You the team that walked through hell and didn't break a sweat. You the team. You don't look past the words. Stay focused on everything. Don't let nothing get past you. This is the only thing that matters. This is the only time that matters. Stay in the moment. Play the moment. Fight. 
Jerry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row and also has a five star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at richieautos.com. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. At the Tim Cookson University, Winning championships is truly a way of life. It's the Wildcat way. Victory is expected, and success is rewarded and honored on the field, in the community, and in the classroom. I am the BCU experience. I am the BCU experience. Yo soy la experiencia BCU. I am the BCU experience. Faith, leadership, love. That's Bethune-Cookman University. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. BCUSportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. This is Ruben Riffin, and I'm here with the Delta Beta chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and you're here with the BCU Wildcat Insider. Hail Wildcats! Welcome back to the 2013 edition of BCU Insider. I'm your host, Terrence Gatling. And now that we close the books on the 2012 season, we're going to take a look back at some of the key players that are coming back this season. First up, we have Mr. Jarkevious Fields. He's a senior from Sanford, Florida. This is his third season for the Wildcats. In 2012, he led the team in tackles with 103 tackles. He was also first team all meat. Next up, we have number seven, Nick Addison. He was first team all MEAC in the 2012 season for the Wildcats. He also led the team with four interceptions and 68 total tackles. Next up is number 50, LeBrandon Richardson, a junior from Miami, Florida, who had 53 total tackles, eight and a half sacks, and he was also first team all MEAC. In 2012, the Wildcat offense was high-flying and exciting. We're gonna take a look now at some of the returning players for this season of 2013. Number two, Isidore Jackson. First team all MEAC in 2011 and 2012. Isidore was the first running back to reach the 1,000 yard mark since 2003. Isidore finished the season with 1,132 yards and 11 TDs on the ground. Then we have Mr. Everything, Mr. Eddie Poole, the six foot four senior, made second team all MEAC in 2011 and has caught a pass in every single game in the past two seasons for the Wildcats. Eddie Poole is a transfer from Rutgers University and is looking to do great things his senior season here for BCU. Next up, we have the quarterbacks. The quarterback is the field general here, and here at BCU, we have three good ones. First up is number five, Jackie Wilson. He's a six-foot senior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He went to Boyd Anderson High School. Last season, Jackie was battling an illness, and he threw for 250 yards passing. Jackie is excited for the 2013 season and is ready to go this year. Next up, we have number 11, Broderick Waters, the transfer from Louisiana Tech. Broderick created a lot of excitement last year. He's a senior this year from Booker High School in Sarasota, Florida. At the end of the year, Broderick had 314 yards passing, 574 yards rushing, and five TDs. Broderick is also ready to go, and he's excited about this football season. 
Next up is the baby boy of the bunch, Mr. Florida, number 14, Quentin Williams. At the end of last season, Quentin had 1,173 yards passing, 11 passing touchdowns total, 445 rushing yards on the ground, and three TDs. Quentin is a six-foot redshirt sophomore from Jefferson High School in the state of Florida. I got a chance to talk to Quentin, and Quentin is excited about this season just as the other two quarterbacks, and Quentin says it doesn't matter who has the ball, the Wildcat offense is still going to be able to move the football down the field. Those were a few of the bright spots in 2012, but... 2012 is over, and now it's 2013. As we all know, Coach Brian Jenkins likes to keep his hand close to his pocket, and he likes to keep a lot of things up his sleeve. So guys, you gotta stay tuned. Hello everyone, I am Luz Xavier James, and we're the Delta Alpha chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Let's go Wildcats! Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95 Daytona Beach. Larry Kelly here at Richie Cadillac inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. We bring to life the dreams of student athletes. It's our vision. A premier NCAA Division I conference. Our institutions are more than brick and mortar. They're built on a commitment to a dream. A commitment to educate. To inspire. Together we are a beacon of hope. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. The dream made real. Welcome back to the 2013 edition of the BCU Wildcat Insider. I'm your host, Terrence Gatling, filling in for Mr. Lynn Thompson and Coach Brian Jenkins. Mr. Thompson and Coach Jenkins will be back next week, so be sure to stay tuned. Right now, I have a special guest with me. His name is Mr. Darian McCaskill. Darian is the eye behind the Cat Eye Network. Darian, what's new with the Cat Eye Network this year? Uh, Terrence, we have a lot of exciting things happening with the Cat Eye Network. We're live streaming five football games this year. We're live streaming eight volleyball games this year. We have two original series coming out this year. One is a repeat uh, from last year, which will be first down. That happens in the spring. But this year we also uh, have released uh, what we call The Grind. And it's basically the story of a student athlete or a couple of student athletes and uh, their journey trying to balance schoolwork and uh, their sport that they play. Uh, Miss Kaylin Bruce, she's a senior here. She's the, actually the producer of that show, and you know it's a really good show, and everybody should check it out. Yeah, and if you want to catch out, catch anything that we do on the Cat Eye Network, you can catch it at cateyenetwork.tv. Um, my second question for you, Darian, talk about the player profiles. I went on the road this year. We went to Atlanta. We had a great time. But Tiffany Todd is actually the producer of that segment, and she put a spin on it this year. Oh, yes, she did. It's, it's awesome. Some of the footage that I've watched, it's awesome to see uh, the student athletes at home uh, with their families in their comfort zone. And she had it filmed beautifully. And it's, it's amazing to watch. I mean, we'll see it here on the Insider uh, in the upcoming weeks, but it's just amazing to watch. And I just, I just hope everybody enjoys it as much as I did. Now, on the Cat Eye Network, there are a lot of student workers like Tiffany Todd, Kaylin Bruce. Talk about some of the things that they do here. 
Uh, well, they're responsible for everything. Uh, I'm basically, uh, you know, I can do, be the brains behind some of the operation, but once they see my vision, they take it and make it their own, and they come and do a wonderful job here. Um, I only have maybe two or three volunteers, but other than that, it's students and myself, and uh, I just love them to death, love them to pieces. Well, that's Darren McCaskill. He and the students are doing most of the legwork here at the Cat Eye Network. They're grinding. Be sure you catch the grind. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Cat Eye Network. You can also follow us on Instagram at Cat Eye Network. Um, right now, we're going to go into the package that Miss Tiffany Todd did for the player profiles. So stay tuned. Enjoy. She put a lot of hard work into it. We don't want people just to see, you know, just a player in a jersey and a helmet. We want to know what makes them them, what keeps them grounded. Who are they? Where are they from? Ted Tony, I'm from Seabrook. Eddie Lee Poole, I'm from Bell Glade, Florida. Andrew Ferris, do Mainland High School. My name is Jarkevis Fields, I'm from Sanford, Florida. My name is Anthony Jordan, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Tiffany Todd. I'm the production manager for Bethune Cookman's Cat Eye Network. Typically, player profiles for the football team, they were just sit down interviews. You kind of, the player just talked about their accomplishments on the team. Um, they talked about home. It was just your sit down normal interview and trying to get to know the player. It was Darian, myself, and Coach Jenkins. And we just, the creativity started flowing and we were like, well, let's do like a road trip or let's do hometown visits for some of the players and see what really makes the player who they are. None of the families knew what questions we were gonna ask. Everything was just natural. His story was just so rich and, and raw and the emotions that were displayed, they were just real. And what makes him so grounded, what makes him so humble. All of them had beautiful families and they were all so welcoming. And I think that's what made it overwhelming. We go into this thinking, you know, and we have the idea of everyone has a story to tell. Everyone. Now, some stories may bring joy, some stories may bring sorrow, but whatever the story is, it must be told. And so we tried to build that relationship with the players to know that we would never put anything out there that's embarrassing or that would make them feel in any type of negative way. If anything, you tell us what makes you who you are. And that's what they gave us. And I'm so proud of our players for not holding back and just showing us who they really were. I don't care if it was from, we drove all the way to Georgia or, or Tampa or Sanford or just wherever in the middle of nowhere, Florida. Um, they were willing to show us that, what makes them them. And it was just an honor to work with every single one of the players. What made you just decide to give a more personal background on the players instead of just focusing on what they do on the field? Well, it might be the feminine side, the female side of me. Um, it just, everyone sees player profiles. They talk about their highlights, you know, it, it just, just everything football. And I think that the players, this is, in a way, this is a way of them to express themselves and who they are. Because as a player, you're taught to be tough, you know, don't show any emotion, no weaknesses. But the players, I think it all started when I first started working with the team. I started just filming practices. And then you travel with the team, you get to know the players, and then they become your brothers. And I look at all the players like my little brothers. But to actually, you know, be that outside person to watch them, you know, grow and mature or see their personality change because of something, I felt like that that needed to be seen. Um, I felt like people need to know that just because they're a football player doesn't mean that they're not human. And that's exactly what they are. They are human. They hurt. They have struggles. But they might take it out on a field, but then I wanted to give the viewers something that you know everyone doesn't do and to see what makes that player that player and 
I promise you, you will enjoy what you see from some of these players, from some of your favorite Wildcats on the gridiron. I promise you that you will really enjoy what you see and you will have a newfound respect for these players. Hey guys out there in Wildcat Nation, we're coming to the end of this episode. I know you're sad. I'm sad also, but you can look forward to seeing the Wildcats this year at one of our 12 football games. That's right. We have 12 of them this year. So right now I'm going to take you through the schedule and hopefully we'll see you at all 12 of them. First up, the Wildcats are traveling to Tennessee State University. The game is Sunday, September 1st at LP Field in Nashville, Tennessee. The Wildcats are looking for vengeance as they took a loss here on their home field last year against the Tigers of Tennessee State. Second, the Wildcats are coming home. First home opener, Virginia Union, Saturday, September 7th at Municipal Stadium here in Daytona Beach, Florida. This is the first time the Wildcats have played Virginia Union in a while, so the Wildcats are definitely looking forward to that football game. Next up, Florida International University. That's down in Miami, Florida on September 14 at FIU Stadium. The Wildcats are currently 2-0 versus the Panthers of FIU and are looking to extend that. Next up, the Wildcats are traveling to Florida State University. This is the first time in school history that the Wildcats will be playing the Seminoles. That football game is September 21st at Dope Campbell Stadium. Now for a team that the Wildcats did not see in action last football season, that's Delaware State University. That game is Saturday, October 5th at Alumni Stadium in Dover, Delaware. Next up is Howard University. The Wildcats will be traveling to Washington, D.C. on Saturday, October 12th. They'll be taking on the Bison of Howard in Green Stadium. Then the Wildcats are coming back home to Daytona Beach, Florida and be taking on Savannah State on October 19th here at Municipal Stadium. Next is Homecoming, a game that everybody loves to come to and everybody loves to talk about for the next year after. October 26th, the Wildcats are taking on the South Carolina State Bulldogs here in Daytona Beach, Florida at Municipal Stadium. Then the Wildcats will be traveling to Durham, North Carolina to take on North Carolina Central on Saturday, November 2nd at O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. Then the Wildcats are back home Saturday, November 9th for Norfolk State University here at Municipal Stadium in Daytona Beach, Florida. The Wildcats will take on Hampton University on Saturday, November 16th at Municipal Stadium in Daytona Beach. Then the game of the year, the Florida Classic, Saturday, November 23rd, that's Thanksgiving weekend in Orlando, Florida at the Citrus Bowl. The Wildcats are looking forward to that game as always. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the 2013 BCU Wildcat Insider. I'm your host, Terrence Gatling, and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday, September 1st, up in Tennessee State to take on the Tennessee State Tigers. If you can make it, hop on that Wildcat game day bus and come on up and support your Wildcats. If not, as always, you can catch the Wildcats on the radio with me, Larry Wesley, and Joe LaBarber. And for all of the home games, you can catch us on the Cat Eye Network. Thank you. I'm your host, Terrence Gatling. We'll see you at one of the games.